Welcome back to the channel. I've been catching up on a lot of movies over the past couple of months. This week's upload is inspired by the eternal conflict of cult cinema. Which is better, horror or sci-fi? If you're thinking this is a trick question, you are absolutely right, it is. There's something magical about a story that removes you from reality, but still makes the hairs on your real life neck stand up. I'm going to share two of my favorite narrative card games today, Spire's End and Escape the Dark Sector. You're watching Mr. Board Gamer. Spire's End is a solo and cooperative card game created by Greg Favreau. The game was fully backed on Kickstarter in late 2019 and has continued to receive overwhelming support through its 2020 release and after the recent launch of the standalone sequel, Spire's End Hildegard. Players start the game with a choice of two characters from a band of seven adventurers. Your goal is to investigate strange happenings involving your own family at a dark and menacing spire. Inside the spire, players are going to be met with different challenges and encounter enemies, traps, and heaps of loot as they progress through the six chapters of this narrative card game. When a character dies, their player is going to replace them with a new adventurer from the remaining cards in the deck. Once all of your characters have died, the game is over and you will never unlock the secrets of the Spire, which will probably mean your family will be damned forever. Gameplay is centered around a D8 dice system, very similarly to traditional tabletop role-playing games where you will need to hit certain numbers to be successful in challenges. A great twist in Spire's End is that taking combat actions is going to cost players hit points which will dramatically affect your choices, creating more opportunities for high stakes battles. I love this mechanic because I traditionally like to play a thief or a rogue type character and losing HP to attack really gives you that high stakes, high reward feeling that I love so much. Where Spire's End really shines is its incredible storytelling and narrative driven decks depicted through monochromatic artwork and red highlights. Throughout the adventure, Players are presented with key choices that propel them deeper into the story or have a chance to result in some good loot. The artwork is a major pull for me, and that is one of the reasons that I was drawn to this game in the first place. Millicent the Silk Weaver with her fancy knitting harpoon. Even the enemies, with all the problems they create for the adventurers, have some really dope designs that I appreciate. Escape the Dark Sector is an RPG space adventure which creates a great cooperative atmosphere for science fiction fans. Released in 2020, this game was designed by Thomas Pike, Alex Crispin, and James Shelton. The second installment of the Escape the Dark series sets one to four players aboard a massive but seemingly abandoned space station, where we learn that our ship has just been impounded. The crew of players will have to use an array of science gears and weapons to explore the desolate station, find their ship, and make the great escape. There are six crew members to choose from at the start of the game, each of them with a different combination of the game's three main traits, might, cunning, and wisdom. Each member is also fitted with a basic firearm and a cybernetic implant, which enhances their natural abilities. Different challenges and even combat situations will require your team to loot and scavenge as much as you possibly can and use every tool at your disposal to survive. In Sector, you cannot afford to lose a single crew member. The moment any of your players dies, the game ends 
and all players lose. Must be hard to escape space prison and launch a starship without a full crew. There are some cool mechanics such as the flank card or the medical drone, both of which give players tactical choices when entering battle. Of course, if you're not into tactical gameplay, you might be thinking, how can I blast my way out of this place? Lucky for you, you can. Sector has both close and ranged weapons for players to find or loot. Some weapons use special ammo types. Sector sports a black and white aesthetic that pairs my love for spooky, gloomy stuff and hyper-realistic grunge. I felt odd when I thought of that, but I had to say it out loud to see if it felt as awesome as it sounds. It does. I'm working on finishing a playthrough of Spire's End, all six chapters, and I recently beat Escape the Dark Sector with a couple friends a few weeks ago. But let me know in the comments below which of these two narrative RPG card games you would be interested in trying out. And as always, appreciate you for watching.